Hey, Brett here. Uh, regular uh, Wednesday schedule Thursday afternoon, and then I'll do Thursday, regular Thursday schedule later tonight. Uh, Hangman. Cliffhanger. Original name Hangman, current name Cliffhanger. Alexa, five-minute timer. Great for stretching the shoulders. Do you mean? So when I plantar flex, that's plantar flexing my feet right there and pointing them, I notice the uh, arch the ball, behind the ball, large ball on my right foot, the arch, the ligament there is a little looking like it wants to be pulled. So it hurts a little bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to dorsiflex my ankles as I am now. It does two things. It pushes me forward a little bit which actually deepens the pose where I'm trying to hit, and it doesn't bother my feet. So if you find that this hurts, maybe do this with your feet. So plantar flex is pointing your toes, dorsiflexion, and sometimes dorsiflexion with a little bit of knee lift can push my weight slightly forward and deepens this pose. Not that this pose needs to be deepened ever. It uh, takes care of itself.
Alexa, stop. Oh, wow. That was a quick five minutes. Nice. All right. Cool. Next. Pretzel arms. All right. This is going to... That was definitely here. Back of the shoulders. Really nice. Okay. What you might find, if you have a lot of tightness up here, well, the issue is actually that you're not flexible in your rib cage. When you breathe out, sorry, when you breathe in, your rib cage slightly folds out, and then when you breathe out, it comes back in. And if the rib cage is stuck here, then it's not able to relax in, which means your diaphragm can't relax. And if your diaphragm can't relax, it's going to hold tension up here. So there's a connection between tightness in your chest not 100%, but there's a, there's definitely a connection between tightness in your chest and not being able to relax your diaphragm while breathing. And if you can't relax your diaphragm while breathing, you've probably got some breath issues. Okay. Plantar. So, so now we're going to do uh, pretzel arms. This is going to get the shoulders. I'm going to take the right arm in front of the left arm. So I'm crossed like this. Notice. And then I'm going to take the right arm and go all the way to the left, and the left arm go all the way to the right, and I'm going to settle my chin on my arms. If you can, you want your elbows at least like this. The more you can do this, the more your elbows will cross. There we go. Alexa, five-minute timer. It takes a while to get used to doing this one, so you might use a pillow under your chest. You might use a block to hold your head up a little bit so that you're not pushing down as hard. But if you can eventually work up to where you can leave your chin like this, it's really good for tightening your neck. Toning, not tightening your neck. I was going to do a, let's see, uh, wide dog before this, but I'll do wide dog after.
Alexa, stop. Okay, now left arm in front of the right arm. Reach, reach. Alexa, five minute timer. Once again, in this prone position, when I'm engaging my arms, since the ligaments in the arms are connected all the way down to the feet, which is what rooting in Tai Chi is all about, connecting your body structure to the ground and connecting and, and positioning your internal body structure says that the ligaments are engaged all the way up the chain. I'm noticing that my right tendon behind my big ball foot is hurting a little bit. So if, if plantar flexion, again, pointing plantar, if that bothers you, do this. And in fact, since this is all about the shoulders, it doesn't really matter what you do with your feet as long as you can balance them and ignore them. So this is fine.
Alexa, stop. Okay, now for the next one, I normally use a bench. It's called uh, Wide Dog. And uh, instead of using a bench, I'm going to try the same basic idea, but just not quite as elevated. So this is about half as elevated as the bench. So uh, Wide Dog, you take a, you, you take a uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Okay, you're, you're in, say, some kind of a down dog position, say, and then you narrow it. So you bring your feet closer. Now, this is this is sh uh, short dog, and then you go wide. And the purpose of this is to target the heat between the shoulder blades. I find that when I do this, I, I don't get the targeting of where I want. So let's see if I can do this with elevation, but not quite. Yeah, right there, that's already better. I'm going to bend my knees because this isn't about the back legs. So the back legs will get a stretch. But until I get the feeling, Alexa, five-minute timer between my shoulder blades, I'm less concerned about my back legs. I'm going to adjust this so you can actually see it a little bit better. All right, good. There we go. We'll go straight on.
Alexa, stop. Okay, now that wasn't that wasn't as good as slightly higher up, but it was okay. Don't think I'll do that again. All right, well that's uh, caught up for Wednesday, and then uh, later on I'll get Thursday taken care of. Have a good one.